Want to keep your PC's driver updated? Here we are going to run Driver Booster Pro on our machine and test all its features. In this video, I will show you all the features of Driver Booster Pro and give you reasons if this tool is for you or not. And if you decide to go with it, there's a huge discount coupon for you in the end, so watch the whole video. Downloading an installation of Driver Booster is pretty much straightforward. Just run the installer after downloading, click Yes in the UAC pop-up, then on the next screen you will see the Driver Booster installation wizard. Here you have some optional offers, which you can select if you need them. Let's check the custom install option to see the options. We have some common options that you can customize. Click the install button. Here you will see this optional offers agreement. If you accept, you will see promotional messages during the installation. So let's accept it and see what offers it shows. On the next screen it shows ITOP data recovery software promotion. If you click on this accept button, it will also get installed, which we don't want. Here, click on No Thanks button. On the final installation screen, you can click on the Scan button to scan for driver updates. But before scanning, let's activate the Pro version. By entering the key, the Pro version is activated. On this home screen, you can see a small bar, which expands when you hover the mouse, and it shows basic PC info like processor, memory, and graphics card. Let's click on the Scan button to see outdated drivers. After the scan, it has found 24 outdated device drivers and two game drivers were not installed. I can click on this Update Now button to update all the drivers or can manually select or deselect to update the drivers. It has scanned every part of the devices and their drivers that you were not even aware of. So you can update all the drivers and optimize your system correctly. Let's check this Boost tab. This System Optimize option is a shortcut to open Advanced System Care to optimize your PC, which you will have to download if you haven't. And this Game Boost 2 stops unnecessary apps and services for a better gaming experience. Experience. It has stopped 10 apps and released 1.53 gigabytes of RAM. So when you are doing something important and need more system resources, you can turn it on. In the Tools tab, you have different tools and fixes. With this first tool, Backup and Restore, you can take a backup of your drivers and save them in your desired folder. You can later restore them also. It also has an option for System Restore. You can create a restore point or restore your system in case any faulty driver causes any issue. The next tool we have here is Fix No Sound. If you have issues related to sound, you can use this tool and it will fix that. Another tool, Fix Device Error, checks error codes in the Device Manager and fix them. Click on this Detect button. It will scan for the error and fix them. Then we have Clean Invalid Device Data. It will scan for invalid devices and clean them. In case your PC has a network issue, you can use this tool. Then use Fix Bad Resolution to correct display-related issues. Here, in the other useful tools, you get to fix incompatible drivers to correct incompatible driver issues. Then another useful tool we have is Offline Driver Update. You can use this tool to update the driver of PCs with no internet connection. You can export the device information of the offline PC and then use that information to download the driver on the PC with internet access. Then the system information shows us detailed information about your computer, like the operating system, processor, memory display, drivers, network, and other devices. Then the Action Center tab contains other IOBit software, which is a promotional attempt of IOBit. Then let's check the Settings menu of Driver Booster Pro. Here you get some basic menu items, and when you click on the Settings, you get Complete Settings. The General tab consists of some program settings. In the Scan tab, you can customize when to start the driver scan. In the Drivers tab, you can set where to download the drivers, where to store the backups, and some other options. Here, you get the Ignore Device list. If you don't want any device to be scanned for driver updates, you can ignore them, and they will be on this list and won't be checked until you remove them from here. Then we have Network Setting and Silent Mode Settings. When activated, it won't disturb you while you are in full screen mode or on focus mode and the Scheduler tab contains settings to set when to scan for drivers automatically. With all these settings, you can customize the Driver Booster Pro according to your needs. 
Overall, Driver Booster is a good tool to have, especially if you want to keep your PC's device driver updated. The Driver Booster has a huge database of drivers. It has more than 9.5 million driver collections. So if your PC has old devices and you are not finding drivers for them, it's not going to be an issue with the Driver Booster. Also, apart from updating your drivers, Driver Booster speed up your system with its game mode. You can use its inbuilt tools to fix issues like no sound, no internet, and bad resolution. You can also use the Driver Booster to update the driver of a PC with no internet connection. Few people don't like its attempt to sell more of IO Bit products, but that's not it. If you ignore these things, Driver Booster is a nice tool to have. You can download its trial version and test the product, and if you decide to go for the Pro version, you can get it from Worthwagon with a huge 85% discount. So check out the description for the link to get your discount.